Hey guys, welcome back to another Kayla Edits video and today I'm doing Liberty and some ground work and some jumping with Max just to get him a little more um, used to being ridden again. Um, and he seems pretty calm right now so um, I'm going to do a bit of Liberty work with him. So, come on. Good boy. And whoa. Good boy. <laughs> he licks me. You still with me? So, Liberty is one of the things that I love the most to do. Uh, it just brings a bond between you and horse and um, I just think it's like really special to do so I'm going to ask him to come over the cross pole with me will you come over the cross pole with me or are you going to be a cheater Oh, he went over the cross pole I'm going to do a little bit of a tight circle just to see if he's in with me. And as you can see, he's following me. And whoa, good boy. <laughs> and he licks me when he's, when he wants to. Um, come on, Maxie. Come on, Max. Good boy. So he looked away. And I walked away while he was looking just to see if he would come with me. And he's coming. So I wonder if, if I trot, like, jog away, he'll trot up to me. So, yeah. I rode in that saddle yesterday, so not the No, he will not. So, he's a little bit focused on something else so I'm just gonna pick up his attention by walking right here around and when he looks at me if he looks at me he will follow back so he's back with me he's a little more alert so I'm just going to whoa, I'm going to walk away, come on Max, Ooh. okay, so he's a little hung up, like a little nervous about something, so I'm just going to let him look at it. I'm gonna let him look at it and remember there is another person in the arena with me so I can't fully let him go really scared so he nudged me right there so I think he's ready I'm gonna have him walk closer to that scary thing I'm gonna keep my hand near the rain I'm not fully holding on to it but as you can see he just went in front so I'm just gonna ask him to come back to me thank you Max and yeah we'll just call that a day for our session with Liberty so yeah let's get on good boy so we're on Max I can see that he's a little wound up so I'm just gonna collect up the reins and he just breathed out, so I'm gonna shorten up the reins. And his friend's trotting, so he might be a little wound up about that. And his friends are watching, and there's a lot going on around, so he might be pent up about that a little bit. So, yeah. As you can see, he's not really listening to me right now. He is looking off, so I'm gonna do a little circle 
just to get him a little, just get him paying attention a little. And I'm gonna make him walk around. So, he's not really paying attention to me. Yeah, but the best thing to do is make them move. Yeah. All right. Easy. Easy boy. Good. So when he breathes again, I will loosen up the reins. So I'm going to breathe. <laughs> Good. Good boy. Good calm. Good calm boy. Good. Good boy. So as you can see he's a little bit wound up because those the cows and the goats running around. Of course they had to do that right there and then, so I'm just going to walk him around in this spot again. Um, just because I think he knows that when he was right there, I had him whoa. Just because the goats and the cows running around. Those bells are really obnoxious, so I'm just going to sit back into my seat. I'm going to loosen up the reins a little, and he's licking and chewing, so... Um, now he needs to go use the bathroom, so I'm going to let him do that. And we'll walk on. So he let out some of his stress. Um, when there's poop in their, in their, like, system, it get they um, get a little bit it makes it a little bit nerve-wracking and like it's like when you're nervous or something and there's like this weight in your stomach it's kind of like that for them also wheels what are you doing <laughs> look at that funny boy So he just let out his neck a little bit. So I'm gonna loosen up the reins. And this is the max that I will go for the rein length. Just because I don't want to have them all the way up to the buckle. Just in case something happened, were to happen and he would um, go running, not saying that he would. He doesn't usually run, and he's seen cows before, so he also looks like one, so yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we, you need to call out diagonal when you're crossing the diagonal. I know, but what if I was walking there? Don't worry, that's just one of my friends, but I want her to learn how to say diagonal so I don't run into her when she doesn't call diagonal. And outside. No, wait. I'm <laughs> no, I'm... Inside, stupid. Yeah. So, he's calmed down quite a bit. He just wants to go to Anya now. So, I'm just going to have him bend a little. Good. And I'm going to loosen the rein just because we just had a fluke incident. Um, 
with the cow mooing and he got nervous about that, which is really stupid. But I do feel a bit comfortable to trot him. Um, so I'm gonna trot him down the flat. Turn trot, trot, trot. Okay, we're getting a faster walk, so that's good. I don't think he's quite ready to trot yet. Just for him personally, and if he's not ready, then I can't. I won't trot him just because he's not ready. I will try again later. Were you trying to go over that and she just like didn't want to? Oh my gosh. I almost just steered him into the thing. I got distracted because there's a whole set of bugs over by the, um, by the wall. By the what? Over by the block, there's a whole set of bugs. Ooh. Wait, is it on it? It's like buzzing around. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Okay, so whenever he goes on this flat, he goes a little, he picks the pace up a little bit. So I'm just trying to get his handling into gear just because he was so used to not listening to aids and now he he's just like picked that up and he, he probably is doing that habit with me. Oh my my. You need to learn how to pick your feet up more. <laughs> Just like, don't, don't judge me. She's like, don't test me. I will. Trot, whoa. Slow trot. And whoa, walk. Okay, so that was good. Good boy. Diagonal. We're not going to your friend. So his his trot is a little bit wimpy. We we are doing we, he was pacing, I think. Yeah, he was I think he was pacing. But it wasn't bad. He is a gated horse. Um bud. What are we doing? <laughs> We're not doing dressage. We aren't doing dressage, bud. Okay, so I don't think he's used to that much contact yet. So I'm going to loosen the rein. I think because he was at a camp with other kids. I don't think he's ready. Anya! I don't think he's ready to canter yet. We'll work on that. Uh, because, you know, he's going to be my new dressage horse. Um, you might not want to get on yet. Okay, if you say so. Let's get you. Let's go. Cook, cook. Oh boy. Yeah, well, this is his second ride at home, anyway. Um, so he's not gonna be perfect. I haven't worked with him that much. So um, we're gonna go over a little rail. So um, step, step. I said step, step. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, he's doing pretty good. He tripped over the same one that he tripped over and almost fell on his face. I don't think he pays attention a lot to his feet. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a really cool guy to ride. Thank you for calling it out. Finally. Okay, let's do this. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try with my seat aids to get him to move this way. Or not. We can go this way. Bud, what are you doing? <laughs> no, thank you. I wouldn't like to go out the arena today. <laughs> he was just like, let's go out the arena. And yes, we know that he can duck under the fence because he's came in here with um, chocolate and Nanya before. So yeah, that was fun. Chocolate is definitely going to be the harder one to be down here. Yeah. Because he is deathly scared. So, yeah. I'll do one more lap around with him. I think that's good for him. Okay. Just cause, swap. yeah, just cause, you know, he's, he's still gaining his, um, confidence back. I think we should call it that cause he did really good. Right. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. I'm going to try around the world on him. I trust you, bud. Bud. <laughs> I trust you with my life. Good. Good boy. Very good. That's something that I will never do with chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, we both, we had a good ride. Yeah, yeah, he was good. Well, yeah, so I'm gonna end our ride right here and I'll see you back when I got get chocolate, have chocolate. So I lied, I wanna do one more trot, just the other way, just to, give him more a little bit balanced in his trot before we end and that'll end our session there so i'm gonna find a clear spot for us to be able to trot in trot good and walk that was a really good trot, so I'm going to call that the end because I don't want to work with him too much and I don't want to, like, think that I'm just, you know, yeah. That was a good job. Yeah, I'll see you back when I have chocolate. Okay, so I have... The Mr. Chocolate. 
Mr. Chocolate's here and we're going to do a little bit of Liberty. We've never done Liberty together, so I don't expect him to do that much at Liberty. And um, I'm mainly going to work on his walk trot and maybe canner. Come on. Don't be a cheater. Come on, you can step over it. Good boy! Good boy, and whoa. He's actually doing pretty well for his first time at Liberty with me. So, honestly, I wasn't expecting him to follow me this much, but that that shows how connected the horse is to you, and I think it's really special. As I said, as I was doing it with Max, it was special. I don't feel like it's special. Um, just because the horse trusts you enough to follow. Oh, good boy. You're being such a good boy today. You always are. Okay, so he just got disconnected there. So he's supposed to be a follow horse. So I just picked him up. And now he's following me. He is definitely not a lead horse. Um, he's really, he's not really dominant. And he can trick you a lot. So I'm, I'm gonna just make him stand out of the mounting block. Come on. And whoa. Good boy. Good stand. So, he stood at the mounting block. I'm going to put his stirrups down. Because I'm going to get on him soon. I'm going to move the mounting block up. I'm not going to grab the reins when I get on. Okay, now I'm going to slightly grab the reins and now we're on. So the reason why I didn't grab the reins uh, is because it gives them a lot of signals when you get on and I like to have them relaxed before like when I get on. So he's, he's a little lucky, which I don't blame him. We do have a bit of a stronger bit put on him. We're gonna go over this log. Good boy. Just cause he doesn't have really good break, breaks. So I'm gonna work on those. Even with this bit, it's not very good, but I'm going to definitely work on it with him. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so we're going to trot him. Trot, trot. Trot, 
right, try, try. Yeah. Turn right. And good. Okay, we're starting out pretty good. And whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Good. That was really good. That was really good. We'll see if I'm brave enough. By the way, his jump might be a little wonky, so that is not me. It's just his gating. It's just his breed. He does not jump very well. He's just like, nah, <laughs> we can walk over it. <sighs> I don't think I had him that very well lined up either. Yeah. He hasn't, he hasn't done a lot of marina work. Make it as easy as possible. Uh, you know, I don't really like that dance distance. You want to take him from this side? Yeah. We'll walk you over it this side, and then we can trot you over it. Because you're such a good boy. He's just like, yeah. Yeah, I definitely like this one better. He's just like, I know what the deal is. Wonky jump. Oh. That is such a wonky jump. <laughs> I've never jumped this horse. I don't think he really jumps. But he's happy to step over stuff. He's very good at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure he's got any jumper talent. No. He does a lot of other things really, really well. That's why Wheels is gonna be my athletic Grand Prix horse, aren't you? Sure. I'm gonna 
I'm actually going to can her this way. Canner. Good. We cannered a little. Yeah, you got a couple strides there. Yeah. He just hasn't done it a lot in the ring, but you can work on it. Yeah, I can work on that. I mean, he's willing to do it. There you go. Hi, Chuck. He's feeling yeah. feisty. He's feeling a bit feisty. Chocolate is? Yeah, look at him. Oh, yeah. Well, it's cool weather. Ah. Uh -huh. Good. All right, I'm gonna walk him around and cool him down. And I think that will be good. So with chocolate, I cannot do something for a long period of time because it just freaks him out. He just does not like, he doesn't like doing stuff like that. Whoa. Nice yeah, but I didn't ask for it. Oh. <laughs> nope. So now he's gotten used to me it going down there. So like with any horse, you can't do something for a long period of time because they'll get used to it. And with the canner, if he gets used to doing a canner a lot, he might canner with his a real actual owner. Well, I am his, his secondary, but not his like real owner. Ooh. Walk. Good. Uh, 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 
Oh, we're going this way. Nah. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. You did such a good job. Um, do something for too long with him just because he is still learning how to canter and his brakes aren't very good they're getting better but they're not there yet yes you're a very good boy thank you thank you for today thank you